Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to uh, use the TI-84, a quick and easy method for solving for lots of variables at the same time. Okay, so I have an equation over here on the right, a system of equations. You can see it right here, right, over on the right-hand side. And my job is to solve for x and y and z. And so we talked about last time how to do it by hand. And uh, it turns out it's a pretty long process, right? Probably something that you hated. So in other words, we want to find a better way. Okay, so solving for two equations at a time, I think you need to be able to do that in multiple, uh, multiple ways. Graphing, substitution, elimination, whatever. Okay, but whenever we're talking about just solving three variables, four variables, ten variables, okay, we can use the calculator calculator and make it much easier on ourselves. So here's the idea. First of all, if not already done so, and this one's okay, it's ready to go, but if it's not already done so, you need to arrange the equation so all the x's come first and the y's come second and the z's come third equals a number. So it has x's, y's, z's numbers. If it's out of order in any way, shape, or form, you need to rearrange it in order to be in this order. So this is already x, y, z's numbers, x, y, z's numbers. So we're ready to go for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter all this information into a matrix. So I need to go find the matrix menu. Okay, and this is your first experience with the matrix menu, but here it is. It's in second, and I hit right here. You see it in blue right above x and negative 1. So I hit second, and then I hit this, and it takes me to the matrix menu. And I've got a couple of options when I get in here. I can either use the name of the matrix, okay, which I'm not going to do yet. I can go over to math. I can do some math with some matrices, and we'll use that in a minute. Or the third column, I can edit some matrices. And so I don't have any matrices and any information in, so I need to put some stuff in first. I'm going to edit matrix A and enter. It says, what matrix A? How big is matrix A? And so here's how I'm going to tell how big matrix A is. Okay, And you'll notice that I have one, two, three, four four values in every single matrix and there are th or in every single equation excuse me and there are three equations so I'm gonna type in and you'll see it if you type it in backwards you'll you'll figure it out ready it's a three by four matrix and look now it kinda looks similar to what I have over here right three equations and four variables four numbers in each equation so now the question is, what do I type in for these values? And what goes in here is the coefficient of every single variable, the number in every single spot. So if I've arranged it to mean x and y and z's in numbers, if I've rearranged it correctly, then all I have to do is type in the values. So I have negative 3 x's. I have positive 1 y's. I have negative 1 z's. And I have negative 2 for that number over on the right-hand side of the equal sign. See how it kind of corresponds to the top line here? Okay, I hope you see the pattern. I'm going to repeat this process for the next two. So I'm going to breeze through this real quick. Two x's, negative one y's, negative two z's, and negative 12 for the number by itself. I have four x's, two y's, one z, and one by itself. So now I have all the values entered in. Be careful about your negative signs and make sure everything lines up. It might be a good time to go back and just check and make sure it lines up with what you see over here in the equations. But I'm done editing the matrix. So I need to quit out of this. I'm going to hit second, quit right here. And now I'm out of the editing mode. So I can't edit that matrix anymore. Now I'm going to go back into the matrix menu. And this time, instead of editing that matrix, you'll now see that matrix A has 3 by 4, so it's got some information in it. And I want to use that, but I need to do some math with it. So I'm going to scroll over to the math menu. And I'm going to go down, I believe it's all the way down option B down here. A little bit of lag on mine. There we go. Close. There we go. RREF is what we're looking for. It stands for Reduced Row Echelon Format. I don't care that you know that, just understand that you're going to use RREF. I'm going to hit enter. And it's asking now RREF, and it has parentheses there because it wants you to put something inside the parentheses. It's saying RREF of what? What matrix? So I'm going to hit second. I'm going to go back into the matrix menu, and I'm going to choose matrix A, this time in the names area. Okay, so the matrix A is the area is the one that I want to do the RREF of. I hit the in parentheses and I hit enter. And it gives me this. And basically what that tells us then is the answer. See up here, remember how the first row stood for the number of x's that we had, and this is y's, and this was z's, and this is the value on the other side? What this means is that I have 1x, and it's equal to negative 1. I have 1y, and it's equal to 0. I have 1z, and it's equal to 5. So my answer is negative 1, 0, 5, and I should write it as an ordered triple. 